Let's take a quick look at how cross-references are created in both FrameMaker and in Microsoft Word. First, we'll start with FrameMaker. I think you'll quickly see some of the advantages. You're able to reference different paragraph styles by their name. You can also make a reference to markers or other types of cross-references. Um, we're going to actually make one to the heading that we see on the page. Um, unlike Microsoft Word, FrameMaker actually has what's called cross-reference formats. And these cross-reference cross formats allow you to do multi-part cross-references in a single step. Click. One click and you'll see that not only has it dropped in all the text for us, but it also has picked up the number and the text of the heading as well as the page. It's telling us what page it's located on and in fact in this case it's actually indicating the chapter that contains all of this information so we're actually getting some of the uh, context as well. Let's swiftly create a couple more cross-references. I'm just going to move this over here to the side so that we can actually see them as I create them and I'll just swiftly move down and make them to uh, references to a couple more um, headings of the same name. And the reason I'm doing this is I'd like to show you another benefit as well. One of the other benefits to cross-references in FrameMaker is that these cross-reference formats that I'm talking about, which drop in all this text, can be swiftly updated and globally changed throughout your document. Um, here's an example of part of the uh, building blocks that make up the cross-reference format. Uh, one of the things that's actually being used is character tags. We have character styles like red, cross-reference blue, etc. So what I'm going to do is just edit this format and make a couple of swift changes so you can see just how easy it is to change. First thing I'm going to do is scroll down to the bottom where I happen to know I've got some other um, character tags. I'm going to change the color to red. And then just to have something dramatic happen, I'm going to type in for more info in all caps. Let's go ahead and change that, say that we're done, and that we'd like to update our document. And as you, we do this, you can see that it has swiftly and instantly changed these cross-references. Uh, naturally, these cross-references are hyperlinked, and if I were to save this document to PDF, I would simply click on any of these cross-references with the pointy finger and immediately go to that remote location. You also can make cross-references to external documents using the book feature. Now let's contrast this to Microsoft Word. I'd like to make a cross-reference up here where I've typed in three X's, and I'm going to make the cross-reference a simple one just to the heading down here that says remembering what you hear. My goal is that I would like to pick up both the text of that paragraph as well as the page numbers. As you'll see in Microsoft Word, although the tool itself is fairly simple to use, it's a two-step process and it's a little bit more prone to error. So in this case I'm going to go ahead and select this heading and I'd like um, I'm actually not ready for the cross-reference because I have to type the first part in by hand. So I have to type in for more for more information, please refer to. Now, all of that uh, came for free in FrameMaker with my cross-reference format. So now I can select the heading and I can go ahead and say that I'd like the heading text inserted. And as I do that, close, you'll see that it has indeed given me that part of the cross-reference. Now I can finish it by saying located on page space period, and right in front of the period I'm going to go ahead and insert a cross-reference, and this time I'm going to ask the same heading to simply display a page number. Now, that looks relatively simple, but not only is it a two-step process, there's actually uh, three disadvantages here. One is that all of the text that's not dark has to be typed in by hand, and to illustrate that I'm simply going to use the yellow highlighter to show that for more information, please refer to, would have to be typed in by hand. Um, I would also, because this is not part of the heading, have to type in located on page. So that much text must be typed in by hand each and every time. The other issue is, if I were to change my color, just for dramatic purposes here, uh, we create a cross-reference twice, one here and another one for the number. So here where you see that the text highlighted in um, blue color. Those are two places where I have to remember to make the link to the same paragraph, otherwise I will get an incorrect cross-reference. So as you can see, FrameMaker allows you to swiftly create entire cross-references in one click, they give you all the text, and actually make references to multiple parts uh, of the heading, the auto number, the page number, even the chapter it is located in. This concludes our demonstration.